All right, so let's talk a little bit about security and maintenance. Now there used to be a piece of the control panel, almost like its own separate program, that used to be called the Action Center. Now this has been renamed because the Action Center is now the Notification Center that you see over here. Uh, occasionally you may get a security alert or a message that will show up down here, sometimes in this tray here, or sometimes right over here near these other icons. Now you can address that by clicking on that notification or you can come in here manually by just going to control panel, system and security, and then security and maintenance. Now you can see right here I actually have an alert as far as my maintenance goes that basically tells me I have three apps that are starting automatically and are running in the background. So this could be slowing down my PC. So um, I have a couple of choices. I can open the task manager to fix this or I can turn off messages about this particular issue. So in this case, I actually know that these apps are starting and I want them to be running, so I can just turn off that message so it doesn't bother me anymore. However, there may be uh, instances where you actually want to go and do maintenance on your PC uh, if it is not running uh, the way that you want it to be. So you could come in here to the security and maintenance section and you can actually take a look. You can check for solutions on your own. You can disable um, certain startup apps, run a maintenance check on the PC. So there are different things that you can do right here to help your system to run a little bit more efficiently. Now additionally, there are some security features built into Windows 10. So you can come down here into the security uh, setting uh, into the security settings, excuse me, and take a look and make sure that everything is going okay right here. So I can see Windows Firewall is on, that will be on by default. Windows Defender will also be on uh, by default and that's gonna help to perfect you, prevent, uh, protect you from malware and other viruses. And then it checks your internet security settings to be sure that those are okay. Now again, all this is going to be set up this way by default. However, something like these internet security settings could be changed by a virus um, leaving you open to threats. So you should be notified by the security center right here um, if something like that happens, but it may not be a bad idea to come in here and just check to make sure that all of this is in good order. Now one thing I do wanna talk about right here is the Windows Smart Screen. Now, as you can see here, it helps to protect your PC by preventing unrecognized apps and files from being downloaded or installed. Now, on occasion, you may need to install an application that Windows does not recognize, whether that be something that uh, you use in your corporate environment that is not an app that Microsoft is familiar with, um, or if you are developing an app, um, obviously Microsoft isn't going to know about that and uh, you may need to disable the smart screen temporarily so that you can install that application. Um, just, it would be important to mention that you want to be sure that this application that you're installing is from a trusted source before you go ahead and disable the smart screen to install that. So just something to keep in mind as you are downloading and installing things.